Hi, I'm Geodab, and in this video, very quickly, what we're going to do is have a look at, if you look up here, the Blender export FBX Python file. Now, when we export by FBX from Blender, this file adds a extra bone on the bottom of the armature, basically the rig. Now, in some cases, this will cause you lots and lots of problems and ends up that your, your mesh, well, your skeletal mesh will have the wrong orientation, won't move in the right direction, this, that and the other. <coughs> and to correct this, we have to edit the export FBX Python file. Now, before I go any further, this information has been provided by Chris Redbeard. Okay, he done this tutorial here for exporting a player model from Blender to UDK. This still affects us now. Now, as you can see, he was using Blender 2.63a and the lines you need to be looking at is here now obviously he says here around line 2546 that was for his version of blender at the time we'll have a look at uh, 2.7s in a minute as i just showed you but you want to be looking for these lines here and all you have to do is put in a sharp sign or gate whatever you want to call it in front of the else and the fw now, if you don't know where to find this file, let's just open this. If you go into where you've unpacked, installed your version of Blender, I'm using at the moment 2.70 Windows 64 version. Now, navigate down to obviously your Blender, it goes 2.7, and then as it scripts, then add-ons and you will find IO scene FBX. Now in there you will find the export FBX Python file. First thing you want to do is make a copy of it. Okay, All, what I generally do in this case is I simply make a RAR file of the original file and then I can edit the other one however I want and I've still always got the original there handy in case I have to go back and change it so back into context <coughs> now here once you actually find it you will see here this is the lines that we're looking for so you go to where it says else and put in the sharp sign and obviously again in front of the FW now, I once I edit these files, I always put my name at, at the side. That's purely so that in case I have to go back for whatever reason and undo this work, it's a lot easier for me to find. So, and at the moment, this is at uh, 2425. So, all you have to do then is save it and then restart blender and it should be fine okay that that's that easy i'll try to demonstrate what you'll see in some of my next videos when i'm exporting characters which is probably well characters and vehicles is probably one of the biggest things well even weapons to be honest from my experience in udk but that's another story so all you have to do is edit these two lines save it and we should be good to go okay so i'll see you soon oh wrong